You know, I was honestly thinking that if we could, well, as Dehar de Chardin said, who I quoted at the end, if we could just harness the real power of love, we could actually change and transform this world. Mm -hmm. That was that was what was driving me. And, you know, I'm convinced that that's the case. I mean, that really is what Jesus of Nazareth was talking about, what he was really getting at and, and what he was willing to die for, uh, to sacrifice himself, uh, because this this love is not um, a kind of sentimental thing, although it can be sentimental. There's nothing wrong with that. But at its root, this love is a sacrificial way that seeks the good and well-being of others, sometimes even above and beyond one's own self-interest. That's the kind of love that a Gandhi was talking about and creating a nonviolent way that freed a country. It's the kind of love that a Desmond Tutu, another Anglican, a Desmond Tutu, um, a Nelson Mandela, um, uh, a Stephen Biko helping to create um, a South Africa with the possibility of being a land for all. Uh, obviously, Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, a Francis of Assisi, I would dare say the Holy Father himself. I mean, that's the kind of the way of love that is a transformational way that, gosh, that has made a difference in human life and civilization. Mm -hmm. um, whenever a change for good has happened, it's been people motivated and passionate about a way of love that was bigger than self. But, you know, I have to admit, I've been ordained um, not quite 40 years. And, and over the years, I've realized when I've married couples, that no matter how large or small the congregation that's gathered, um, speak to them. And if I speak to their souls, the souls and the hearts of that couple, you'll probably find that you're speaking to the souls of all those who are gathered around. And so after a while, I just became a regular parish priest and was talking to a young couple who was getting married because their love for each other is related to the same love that God wants for the whole world. Well, you know, I, the, the, the wonderful thing about it is um, the royal family um, all made this possible. Um, they, 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 they made all of this possible. And I suspect that in some um, wonderful and small way, um, I got a feeling God was trying to send a message not just to them, but maybe to the whole human family that the truth is no matter who we are, no matter our station in life, we actually come from the same God. And, and last time I checked, even in the world of biology, if you have the same parent, you are related to that person. <laughs> um, and the truth is, we got the same parent, yeah. which means we are all related, whether we are royal or not, whether we are black or white, red, yellow, brown, gay, straight, rich, poor, no, no matter the nationality, no matter the religion, we all come from the same God. And if that's true, then we are brothers and sisters, and we're meant to be our sister's keeper and our brother's keeper. And my friend, we'd have a very different world if we all live like that.